It's an unusual setting for two ballet dancers and a harpist to perform a benefit concert. Columbarium, the final resting place for many San Franciscans. But the San Francisco Heritage Foundation is trying to raise money to refurbish the historic building. Channel 7's Jack Hansen was there today for the rehearsal. I used to walk past this building every day on my way to junior high school, look at it and say, what a strange and mysterious building this is. Well, turn out to Columbarium. This is the final resting place for many a San Franciscan. It was built in the late 1800s. And at one time, it was the centerpiece for a 147-acre cemetery right in the middle of the city. The Neptune Society bought this building 14 years ago, restored it, and it's still being used. Well, there's about 20,000 uh, interments in the columbarium. There's about 1,500 spaces available. <laughs> the price range starts in the gardens. You can have your ashes interred in the gardens for around $635. But to be inside the columbarium starts at about $1,500 and it goes up to about $35,000, depending on which level and what window you're by and for example yeah so if you have a view it costs more money is that right a view would cost a little bit more money yeah. the now closer you, you are to heaven uh -huh. it's a little cheaper <laughs> but now a new dimension has been added to this historic building as a performance theater. In fact, this weekend, Lawrence Peck, principal dancer of the San Francisco Ballet, Boris Goldman Harvest, will appear. Francisco, Jack Hansen for Channel 7 News. That, by the way, is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday.